Hi, it's Dan Safka with the very next episode of My Purple Brain. I don't have a trade in this episode. Instead, I have a unique story and a unique product from somebody who reached out to me on LinkedIn when he saw what I was up to, and I want to bring his story to you. It's related to Alzheimer's and dementia, but first, let me get you caught up with My Purple Brain. Inspired by Kyle McDonald's One Red Paper Clip, I'm raising money for Alzheimer's research in a unique way with My Purple Brain. Kyle shocked the world when he played an online version of the game Bigger Better, and in just 15 trades, he went from that paperclip to a house. I'm starting with this Purple Brain Squeeze toy, and so far I traded that for a jade plant, and then I traded the jade plant for a painting of the Northern Lights. What will I trade for next? Well, follow me and see, and maybe even make an offer along the way, and in the end, I'll cash out whatever I have, and that'll be my donation. Meanwhile, I'm meeting some interesting people along the way and will tell their stories. And here's a great example. Hey, it's Dan Safko and welcome back. And this is my friend, Fernando Jackson. Fernando, say hello to my audience. How you doing audience? It's me. So Fernando saw what I was doing with the Purple Brain on LinkedIn. And he has a unique product, a unique gift to serve the Alzheimer's and dementia community. And I wanted to share his story with you. I've been talking to him for the last few minutes. What I have is something that I'm personally going through at my age is dealing with a mother who was diagnosed with dementia. So I started to think at my age, what happens to the little kids who happen to have to deal with a grandparent who has dementia? So I decided to write a children's book one of this first children's book is for the ages of five through eight for them to understand there's really nothing wrong with grandmother or grandfather it just happens to be with the disease and guess what it gives them different avenues on how they can cope with it the second book that was written was this one right here for the nine to 12 year olds still dealing with the same thing of trying to understand what's going on with grandmother what's going on with grandfather how come they can't remember my name how come they can't remember this so these two books were dedicated were kids out there so that they can understand about dementia now this is really unique i'm a community educator for the Alzheimer's Association. So I see a lot of information pass through, but I haven't seen anything meant for kids. And I've learned that Fernando doesn't have any kids. So would you describe this as a calling and where do you think that came from? I'm a godfather five times over. I love kids. And it just, I think it was a calling from the, from the father upstairs to let me know we need to spread this word. We need to spread this knowledge. Let's take a step back and look at it. How do we convey this to the little kids? And I think that's where I came up with the idea, like, let me write this for the kids so the kids have something. So that's what's in his heart, but let's talk about some head stuff right now. We were talking about numbers. The numbers we were discussing, when you're looking at a grandparent, a grandparent has probably five or six grandkids. Then when you're looking at the individuals diagnosed with dementia year, we're averaging around 6 million people. So now, take a step back and think about that. If a grandparent has five to six, and we have 6 million people who were diagnosed with dementia, who has grandkids, there's a lot of kids who are growing up confused because if you're watching this, you understand as a little child and as you get older, a lot of things that happen when we're little kids comes out when we get older. So now what I am trying to do is get to these kids early to let them know and understand it's really not bad. This is part of life and there's simple things that you can do for that. So tell us about the storytelling. Once we get into the pages, what will kids discover? Kids will discover one, they figure out that something is going on with grandma or grandpa. Second thing is they're going to run to their parents who is going to ask them for advice. What do I do? What's going on? And the parents without crying have to explain this to their little kid that guess what? This is grandma and grandpa, but you have to do something in return. So what we do in return is we start setting up things where they're going talking to grandma or grandpa about old pictures that they have. They're sitting here understanding, asking them questions so that that helps them remember. They're putting up 
uh, pictures all over the place so that it helps grandma and grandpa remember that they will recognize them and they still love them. So it'll go through that whole arc when you're looking at the children's book. This is not the end product. This is the beginning of the journey. Where do you want to go next with the series? What we're going next with the series is we're going with the next age. This one is from five to eight. This one is from nine to 12. Now we're going to go into the preteen years. Then we're going to go into the teenage years and end up when you get 20 because there is nothing out there on how for you to handle dealing with somebody who has dementia and Alzheimer's. He's just beginning this journey. The books are available on Amazon. With this final word, I'll let him repeat the titles to you. But uh, you have a wish list or, or you need marketing help. Tell us about that. I wrote the books, put it out there. Now it's just looking at different avenues of how to promote the idea, talking to different individuals, talking to groups, talking to people who deal with older individuals that have dementia that may need this book to hand to their grandchildren or grandkids or young kids so that they understand and know. So yeah, the first book that was written is Benjamin's Special Memories, A Story of Love and Understanding. So that is the one that's for the five to eight year olds. The second one is The Enchanted Journey of Remembering Grandpa. This book explores the impact on Alzheimer's on families and a gentle reminder of the power of love and memories. Fernando, thank you for bringing your passion project to market and serving this very underserved market in the Alzheimer's and dementia space. And I'll give you the final word. All I wanna say is thank you, bless you. And it's really not as bad as we think as long as we have the right information to pass along and hopefully this is the right information to pass along to the kids to make it a lot easier to handle. Uh, thanks again for watching and I appreciate that my Purple Brain project brought Fernando into my life with a story to tell. So if you have a story to tell, let me know and maybe I'll do more of these episodes. Thank you, Fernando. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day.